What's up, everybody? It's Bubba. I just coming back. It's been a while. I uh, just came to answer a few questions today that I've had on the blog on the Ask Me Anything. Uh, I had a tip from someone that said, always use your first edit. Just go with it and be yourself and uh, and be genuine. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to make all these takes and, and then edit it. Uh, I'm just going to be me. So I hope you guys are having a great day. It's a beautiful day here in Pittsburgh. Uh, a few questions to catch up on. Um, Shane asked this. He said, was the video of the Q&A with Craig Rochelle meant as a joke? Um, and then he went on to say he didn't find it funny and thought it was misleading. Um, yes, it was meant as a joke. Uh, Catalyst actually made that, I believe, uh, as a joke, just teasing Craig. And they just took a bunch of clips from him speaking and put it together and made him look stupid. And it was really, really funny. So it was a joke. Uh, I thought it was funny. Uh, if you were misled by anything, he said it was a joke, it was a video. I encourage you to check out their church at lifechurch.tv. Uh, Craig Rochelle is awesome. He's tearing it up and has great things to say. So I recommend checking out his website. So that is that. Uh, Jacob Lubert asks, does your church support other people who have a desire to go on a mission trip? Um, it depends. I'm, I'm probably not the person to answer that. That would be Pastor Larry. Uh, who would answer that? I know we have a heart for missions, and we're going to support you know people doing God's work wherever they go. But uh, if someone just randomly came and said, "Hey, support me," probably not. We'd have to have a relationship developed and know their ministry and know what they're doing, um, etc. But again, I'm not Pastor Larry. I can't really answer that. Um, but yeah, if, I, mean, I encourage you to go on a mission trip. It's awesome. Um, a lot of people from my job just mess with me. Um, stupid questions. Anne asked this. She said, did you find it hard to listen to the word at first? Uh, did it seem hard to sit and listen? Um, and, it, um, maybe. I really started listening to stuff. I, I didn't start listening to sermons. I actually started, uh, being interested in personal growth and listening to CDs and such through a John Maxwell leadership CD. And that was easy for me to listen to. Uh, I was handed a CD when I was 18, 17, 18 years old by Pastor Larry Betancourt. And it was a John Maxwell Maximum Impact Leadership CD. And I thought it was the greatest thing ever. I rewound it. I wrote down every quote. I wrote down every thought that he had. And um, that was very, very easy for me. Preaching, um, I remember I'd get real excited about the church I was going to. And I loved the messages. So I got into that. And then I uh, just started discovering other pastors and started listening. So... I wouldn't say it was hard for me to listen. Um, depending on how busy you are, I'd say, you know, if you're just gonna if you're gonna make time to sit and actually listen to a message, that's very hard. Uh, I'd encourage you to get a CD of any messages you have, or and put them in your car and listen to them on the way to work. That's a great way to get the word of God into your heart. Uh, and I would just encourage you to find someone that you li you agree with and that you like listening to. Um, if I put some people on in the car or if I turn on some podcast, I'd fall asleep and be distracted and wouldn't get anything out of it. Whereas I put on other podcasts or listen to other CDs from pastors I do like, I could listen to it for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and not get sick of it. Um, so I just encourage you, uh, bottom line, value growth, whether it's spiritual, whether it's leadership. Find something to listen to. Find something that you like listening to. Find something that stretches you and teaches you everything. Um, Teaches you everything you could possibly want to know. Um, and just value that. And I can keep going on that. And uh, I'll email you because I said that you would, I see that you would like an email as well. Beanie, uh, you asked, when am I coming to Africa? I miss you tons. It's so awesome seeing all your blog posts and seeing what God's doing in Africa in and through you. I'm so excited for your life. I can't wait till you come back just so we can hear all the stories, see all the pictures. But thank you for keeping me posted. And who knows, maybe one day we'll all do a mission trip with you um, in Africa and it'll be awesome. And someone asked, what do I want to do when I grow up? Uh, what do I want to be when I grow up? I don't know. Pastor John, uh, a mentor in my life uh, really helped me. He's like, hey, Bubba, don't ever put a period where God puts a comma. And don't say, I'm going to do this or be that. Uh, just be open and, and let God direct you. And, and that's kind of where I am. I've, I've noticed every time I try to figure out what I want to be or what I want to do or where I want to go, uh, God always has other plans. And it's always better than anything I could imagine. But... It's always way different than anything I could imagine, too. So I'm really open to anything. Um, as far as what I'd like to do, I love uh, pastoring. I love people. Uh, I love leadership. I love motivational speaking. I would love to do all that. I'd love to be an author, a speaker, right, uh, and all those things. So um, it's a very broad 
uh, description of what I'd like to do, but I hope that answers your question. And someone asked, what's the meaning of life? Grasshopper. Again, fun question. I'd just say love God, love people. Uh, that's pretty simple. Love God, love people. That's the meaning of life. You'll have a great one. So that's it. Hope you guys had a great week. If you have any more questions, I'd love to answer them. I'm trying to think through some creative ways to, to make this better. I think I'm going to start doing a podcast, uh, interviewing some leaders, uh, possibly doing some Skype interviews and things. So uh, stay posted on the blog. Keep asking questions. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.